blocking up the Toyota Tacoma's beaver tail. Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. That's right, today it is time to lock up the Toyota Tacoma beaver tail. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. A little while back, I went out and got a beaver tail step for the Toyota Tacoma here, and that's exactly what this is. It's a step to be able to get up in the bed or on top of the rack if you need to do that. But it came with this uh, just regular old rod here, I guess, and then just a uh, like a cotter pin. Um, to hold it in. So you could imagine, pretty easy to steal this thing, right? You just pull out the cotter pin, or key, take out the rod, grab it, and you're gone, right? Takes just that long. Not too difficult. And by the way, this thing is uh, pretty darn solid. I really like this. After having it a while, you know, it doesn't stick out so far that it's useless or blocks the camera. I mean, you can see it in the camera up here a little bit, but it doesn't stick out so far that it's crazy long. And it looks good on the back of the truck. I think this is probably one of the best ones I've seen out there because of the way it's designed. But anyway, obviously I need to be able to lock that up because prying hands are prying hands, right? So I went out and I got this. This is a four inch um, trailer hitch receiver lock. And the thing I like about this, um, it's a bit, a lot actually, more sturdy than the other ones. I actually uh, had bought a different one and it turned out to be too short. It wouldn't fit across there and lock. So make sure you get the right one. This one is perfect. It is four inches long with a five eighths inch diameter pin. Now, what's nice about this, they provide these rubber rings here. Um, you can put on each side once you put it through the hitch. Um, to try to cut down on any rattling or noise. They also give you this style of key and on this one um, you could see they had covers on them for protection but it's this type of keyed lock. Um, not your normal kind of key like this and these always bend you know a lot of these come with real cheap keys and the metal always seems to bend and deform. I like that it comes with these kind of things and adds maybe a little bit more security too. Now the lock itself has this nice cover over it and it is rubber as opposed to just plastic so it should hold up better to the elements I think and then of course the uh, key hole if you will on top and this actually stays on there pretty firmly. I don't imagine this one coming off. I've seen many on people's vehicles where these are just kind of dangling and hanging around down there because they are plastic and in the elements um, they kind of lose their grip if you will. So we're going to go out, we're going to put this thing on. A couple other little notes about this I guess. I uh, made myself a couple notes here um, because it is such a good, uh, a good lock I think. Uh, let's see. It is uh, compatible, it says, with class three, four, and five hitches, big towing vehicle trucks, it says. Uh, two and a half inch uh, to, let's see, for two and a half, three, and three and a half inch hitch receivers, which should work fine on the Tacoma. Uh, they say it's made of a high quality black electrophoretic. Electrophoretic. Uh, painted solid steel. That's always good. Uh, the dust cap, of course, to keep water and grease and dirt and crap away from the locking mechanism. Uh, they say it has a heavy duty feature for over 30,000 pounds of load. Pretty stout. Also offers a 30 day money back guarantee and a one year warranty. So, in print, sounds pretty good. Let's go out and put this thing on. Okay, this really isn't rocket science. First of all, you need to unlock the top so you can take it off and then decide which way you want to put it on. It comes off uh, pretty easily, just like so. And then I had mentioned it has these little rings here, right? So ideally, you want to put some on each side, I think, um, so that it doesn't rattle around. I'm going to maybe take off uh, about four of them till I put it through here. And I think I'll put it facing this way since I'm right-handed let's go ahead and put the the lock on the right if you will goes through just like so and actually you can adjust how much uh, length you have by how many of these you actually put on so 
Um, I don't need as many as it came with. Um, you guys can see, let's get you off of this chair here. You guys can see here, um, I don't have a ton of the lock sticking out on this edge. And I have, what, three or four? Looks like three of these, eh, maybe more. Looks like four of these little rubber things on. So I'll probably take a few off. So I'm going to go ahead and get this adjusted the way that I want it. And then we'll come back on and finish it up. Okay, for me, I put, uh, looks like one, two, three, four, five of these, uh, whoops, five of these little rings on the left side or the side that doesn't lock. And then I put one over here, and you probably can't see it back there, but one on this side. Um, are you going to hear it? No, I don't think you'll hear it in the truck, but yeah, if you're standing outside back here and you're hanging out of the tailgate or something, maybe something kind of crazy, yeah, you could hear it moving around, I suppose. Um, but doesn't bother me. Let's go ahead, put the cap on. There you go. Looks pretty good, I think. Uh, it's nice and black, of course. Didn't want anything chrome or silver or crazy like that. And again, it's, uh, it's pretty stout. No problems fitting. I did have a couple of these rings left over. That's okay. I don't know why I'd ever need them again, but maybe uh, they'll come in handy for something else. Now, I know a lot of folks out there will say, yeah, but now you have to screw with another key. Well, you know, it's not a big deal. I just put this on the same key ring that my key is on because I do have a key for my truck. And even if you don't have a key, if you have push start, um, you still have to have that little fob with you and you can just put this on your fob. So if for some reason you ever need to take that off, and I don't know why you would, um, you'll have the, the key to be able to do so. So I'm pretty happy with it. Pretty stout little device. Um, defeats this obviously this is basically useless as far as security is concerned um, this will work as I mentioned on many other vehicles not just for the Tacoma but since I have the Tacoma um, it's gonna work for me there'll be a link for it down below if you're interested in checking it out anyway just wanted to get on here show you guys I kind of left you hanging as far as to how I was going to secure the beaver tail here I uh, love this device. I've used it several times actually to get in and out of the truck for whatever reason. Um, I know a lot of people had thought that maybe it was going to be in the way and that it would somehow hit your shin or your leg when you walk by. I think because of the design of it, the way that it's angled, um, I haven't had that problem at all. And I'm out here in the garage frequently, so so far uh, I have not, fingers crossed, I uh, hit my leg on this and it's not an issue. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this. And did you get the beaver tail or not? I'd be curious. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator sitting right over there. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.